Refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. 49. Let's go. Come on. If it ends the mic. So play fake. Now Young. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for the offense. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there, running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far is working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Try to throw now. Young. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jordan. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. That's the end of the first quarter, with the score Steelers 6, Raiders nothing. They wound up getting nothing out of that second down completion, so now here's third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Young. He's got his tight end on the corner round. It's complete. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Give them nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. On second down, Milton. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now a give right side. Allen, and he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. 
Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. This will be fielded at the six. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. 12 yards there and a first down. On first down, it's Armstrong. Call it a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half, maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. themselves another first down as the tackles made at the Steelers 39. They brought in the heavy set on third down and that usually means running play but we have seen them throw out of that formation and sure enough they snuck the tight end out on that one wound up hitting him for a first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now here's first and 10 at the 39 yard line. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Right back to him on first down. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. A reminder, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report in a bit. The coach is with us per usual. As we start to look ahead, Charles, to our potential matchups in this year's Super Bowl. Break it down, coach. Break it down. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile. He stopped that one behind the line of scrimmage. On second down now, it's Armstrong, and he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. The Steeler defense proving its mettle here, and now this is third and goal. 
They'll try to run this one in. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Punching it in from a yard away as they are now on the board here in the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. And a lot of football, full half to be played. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Well, you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you got the lead. And got his man complete. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Young working out of the gun. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup. Relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Final play of the half, Young. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So we are halfway home to figuring out who will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, one more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about... some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Check nine, check nine. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Check 24, check 24. Yo, 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 go, go. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety, being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. From the gun now on third down, Carr flushed out right. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. Tally, that is catch number one for him in this AFC championship. It's a first down. 
As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He's able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. They'll keep it on the ground. Armstrong, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. The Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Well, partner, if we had their entire playbook in front of us, I'm not sure we would have picked out that play as the one to run in that situation. How about the guts of the offensive coordinator? Dialing that one up into great success. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. On play action, it's Carr. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers 21. That's something we have not seen him do to this point, and that's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right. His first carry of the game. I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. It's Armstrong. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a Now a play fake. Carr rolling to his right, and he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's oh, reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Pass that's complete and able to get him. No, down, mommy's working. No, watch TV. She's working. Sets up a first and goal. She's working. I'm sorry. Still credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a the first down. Please be quiet. Please be quiet. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want two. Yeah, you're without a doubt. Stop. He's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Second and goal from inside the five. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown.
taking it in from four yards out as his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here and have to. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Milton and able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Can't pick a fucking play. What the fuck? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Young. And he will find his man on the outside. Fucking gay as shit. He'll go before heading out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. Fucking faggot, dude. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, Milton. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Milton. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. 
it just never materialized. On third down, Milton, and he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A great effort there. Taking it in. And the Steelers are going to retake the lead. So a big play now as the Steelers will go for two. They're going to try and run. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And that helps. That gives him a seven-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And for them, a touchdown their last goal around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Armstrong. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The Raiders on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and seven. Yeah, yeah. Shotgun now for Carr. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Devin Bush, the linebacker, was the one there in pass coverage. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one. Knock it away and brings up a fourth down decision. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Back two, now! Hey, box truck, box truck! The Raiders do snap it. It's Carr. They'll buy some time right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Let's go. They're able to Let's keep go. the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. You ain't doing nothing, Go, go, go. Yo, yo, deep rip, deep rip. From the gun, it's Carr. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. To throw once more on second and 10. Carr. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 41-yard line. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 at a first. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, 
also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Carr. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. It's a gain of seven, and that'll make it a second down. And he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Able to get seven on that first down pass play, second and three. as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Extra point attempt to come here. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense at Summit. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On second and 11 now. Young, and he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll try the left side. Milton. And able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They go play action here on first down. He sets to fire deep, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, he may very well run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. On second down, Milton, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense, they're saying go right ahead with those. They'll keep it on the ground. Milton. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. 
Now Young. Being chased out left. He'll run it. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Young to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. In for the score. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute. Obviously a huge touchdown for their team, but a big touchdown for a rookie quarterback here to be able to break the tie in the fourth quarter. And he just shook off all the pressure, too. Because when you think about it, tie ball game, rookie quarterback, most of them are thinking, don't make a mistake. Instead, this young man just said, I'll make a play. This is taken at his four. And an alley to run. And he's into the clear. He's at the 30, 10, and he's going to score. That's what's fucking up, boy. Oh, my God. That's what's he up. Turns it all the way. Get your ass out of here. game is tied. Well, that's the one they had to have. Put them in a position where they're tied up, but I got to get out of the way. We still got an extra point that's pretty crucial. <laughs> that's right. Just one more element to complete the victory. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And the condition's miserable for a kicker and a holder, but this one's good, and with it, they take the lead. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping something. Oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Super Bowl, let's go. Motherfucker, fuck ass team. Let's go.